So it's possible, even two of rounds. Um, I went all 12 rounds and I didn't get any injuries, I didn't get hurt. Um, I'm ready to, find, uh, to fight again as soon as possible. I wish I can get another champion who is holding WB, WBC type of title next month. Samuel Peter and um, Moscow are fighting, so we'll see what's going to happen over there. I guess they're fighting in Mexico, and of course my brother is stepping in. So I let my brother handle it, and um, in double base situation, uh, uh, Jugayev, I guess, is going to fight um, somebody. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see which chance we have to unify in other titles. And I want to say thank you very much to Sultan Ibrahimov to take this fight and to make this fight, because Boxing fans got tired of all the sport politicians and a lot of talk about unification that never came. So I'm very thankful to uh, to the camp of uh, Ibrahimov to make it happen because first of all it's great for this sport and the heavy division we need undisputed champion and we need a person who is going to carry this title. Okay. Obviously, you're happy your fighter won the fight, but as a trainer, are you happy with the way he performed tonight? Vladimir himself, he described it. Turn off the mic. Far enough, Mike. Vladimir himself, he described the fight. It was not the satisfactory that he or anyone wanted, but he did what he had to do to win. And you're not going to look great every fight. And, and Bragamoff is a very difficult guy to fight. As we said earlier, he's a small guy and he survived all these years beating big guys simply by moving his body in a position where it's hard to hit. He's fighting like this all the time. So it's very hard to line him up for a good punch. And if you throw a punch from too far back, you miss, you're all out of balance, and then he counter punches, and he gets away, and that's the way he fights. So Latimer was trying to wait until he could feel that it was perfect for the right hand, and oftentimes he just couldn't get the feeling, so he just kept beating it with the jab. But, uh, you know, every time you fight a guy like that, you, you can look good. And I was just thinking about Muhammad Ali, fought a guy named Jimmy Young, who was a very defensive cagey guy. And Ali didn't look good neither in that fight, but he won the fight, and uh, moved on to the next fight. So we're just looking forward to let him fight in the next heavyweight that he can find out there. And this will just be one of those nights that we'll chalk up as a win over a very good, difficult guy to fight and just move on and let him go.